you know, I think it's pretty standard practice that if you think your team gets it this much, you know, they actually get it about that yeah. much. Right. Uh, and that's just, that's just, that is just kind of the standard condition. I think if a leader understands that, then uh, they're going to, they're going to be set up for success uh, a lot better in life. The way to fix that problem is, is to ask people, is to ask them. And it's not just saying, Hey, do you get it? Do you understand? Because people are always going to say yes, but it's to as somebody in the military, we call it a read back where you're, you're, you're saying, okay, we just talked about the mission. Talk me through this, this particular aspect of the mission. Let's say the escape and evasion plan. What are you going to do if you're out there on your own? Uh, and how are you going to signal? When are you going to expect U.S. forces to come and link up with you? Where are they going to come link up with you? Talk me through that plan. And then you're going to know right away that the, the people get it uh, or they don't get it. And if, they're, if you're getting blank stares and they're not able to tell you that, instead of getting mad at them, then you actually need to look at yourself and say, okay, obviously I wasn't clear about how I communicated this plan. And I know if this person doesn't know it, then probably everybody else on the team doesn't know it either. So that's really the test. If you can, communication, simple, clear, concise, plans have to be simple. And, and if people understand them, uh, then they're going to be able to execute. But if people don't understand, they can't execute. And as a leader, you've got to make sure uh, that, that uh, you do that correctly.